hospitable Earth neighbors, grotesque and frankly frightening worlds where no human can survive even with maximum protective equipment. One of them is Europa, an icy planet under the multi-kilometer shell of which there is supposedly a mysterious ocean, perhaps even inhabited. Are we destined to see it? It will happen relatively soon. In April 2023, European Space Agency launched JUICE, the apparatus designed to study the icy satellites of Jupiter. True, the first photos of the celestial body Earthlings will not receive until 2031. However, some interesting aspects of Europa can be looked at now, especially since in recent years, information about the distant planet has been added. Hello. Let's start with the story of its discovery. In the early 17th century, using a refractor telescope, Galileo Galilei discovered an object that was mistakenly identified as Io, another satellite of the great gas giant. But in this status, Europa did not last long. The next night, the inaccuracy was eliminated. The mishaps did not end there. After a while, a certain astronomer, Simon Marius, began to challenge the discovery of Galileo, assigning primacy to himself. The Italian physicist managed to incriminate his colleague in plagiarism, but he still remained involved in the biography of the satellite, giving it a catchy name, Europa, which is logical, because according to mythology, she was the lover of Zeus. True, the name did not take root immediately, for a long time, the object was called Jupiter II. So, what is this uncharted world? Europa, the largest satellite of Jupiter, orbiting at 670, 900 kilometers from him. The short distance turns a year on the planet into three and a half Earth days. The icy world, whose temperature sometimes drops to 190 Celsius, is invariably turned to one side of the giant, that is, it is in a tidal grip. Jupiter's forces are so powerful that they force the planet into an ellipse for a time. But why do we speak with such certainty about the subglacial ocean? The Galileo probe, flying close to Europa, helped us learn this fact. Measurements showed that under the icy armor splashes liquid, heated by the temperamental core of the satellite, which in turn is influenced by the giant Jupiter. Galileo has detected on Europa a magnetic field that creates electric currents originating in the interior of the satellite. Consequently, there is bound to be a highly conductive layer, presumably a salty ocean. The second proof of the presence of a huge body of water is the following peculiarity. Periodically, the crust of the satellite moves in relation to the interior, which would not happen if they were firmly connected to each other. But that's not all we know about a frozen world with one of the smoothest surfaces in the solar system. Europa is slightly smaller than the moon, and its unimpressive anthropometric data does not prevent it from being the sixth largest of all the satellites in the solar system, Long-term observations of the celestial body allow us to assert that the interior of Europa is partially similar to the composition of the planets of the Earth group, but the thickness of the ice shell of the Jupiterian satellite by approximate calculations vary from 10 to 30 kilometers. That is, if an Earth vehicle lands on Europa and starts drilling, it will take at least a month of hard work to drill through the ice. What else attracts the observer to the mysterious satellite? Europa's ice is clean and fresh in many places, which suggests that the ice cover is young, but there are also more irregular bumpy areas, such as the Connemara chaos. This is a region that scientists hypothesize was created by a subglacial ocean splashing to the surface. Although this version is often criticized, it is still not unreasonable. Connemara Chaos is named after a region in Ireland characterized by a rugged landscape. The region is full of elongated lines and ridges several hundred meters high. There are a small number of impact craters, 
notably the 26-kilometer-long Puil, which again attests to the youthfulness of Europa. From the side, the Connemara chaos looks like huge hummocks frozen chaotically into the frozen surface after heating. Among other things, Europe is covered with many unique structures, photos of which NASA has recently processed with modern equipment, as a result of which rather obscure images from the late 90s have gained new life and tremendous detail. The first landscape detail worth mentioning is oblong lines, similar to cracks on the surface of the Arctic Ocean. Sometimes their width reaches up to 20 kilometers. Most likely, this is the result of periodic cracking of the satellite's crust under the influence of subglacial ocean water migration. The twin Ned and built ridges crossing the ice desert are considered to be the result of cryovolcanism, a phenomenon possible only in conditions of extremely low temperatures. These are Earth's volcanoes in reverse, instead of hot streams, vapor and methane. Ammonia creolava erupt from cracks in the ice. The ridges on Europa are thought to be scars from such eruptions. Also notable are lenticules or freckles, areas up to 10 kilometers in diameter, probably resulting from localized melting of the surface. What else can Europa surprise the unsophisticated viewer? One day, the Hubble telescope detected a strange outburst that permanently deprived the satellite of its status as a dead celestial body. It was a titanic geyser that soared to a height of 200 kilometers at a rate of five tons of liquid per second, which was direct evidence of the ocean beneath the satellite's surface. If there is life in its depths, even at a microscopic level, then woe to the bacteria that managed to get into the arms of the rushing stream. They are unlikely to return to Europe alive. This case is not an isolated one. Through the eyes of Hubble, NASA observed the satellite for about 15 months and recorded about three powerful emissions. By the way, geysers are a great opportunity to study the subglacial ocean 100 kilometers deep without the mandatory drilling of the hardest diamond cover. What to tell last? The satellite has one more characteristic, a hellish radiation background. No wonder, because Europa's formidable neighbor is Jupiter itself. Radiation attacks on Europa are literally incompatible with life, and it is unlikely that in the near future there will be space shuttles and spacesuits able to protect a person from a fatal blow of 5.4 sievert, which is a million times more than the Earth's figures. The consequences of the Chernobyl disaster, compared to such a monstrous impact, would be like a mild form of acute respiratory infections next to Ebola hemorrhagic fever. And the most relevant question is whether the ocean of Europe is inhabited. Why not? because even the most unfavorable corners of the Earth and outer space are not always deserted. They are inhabited by exotic organisms, extremophiles, characterized by extreme unpretentiousness to living conditions. Think how the inhabitants of the almost bottomless ocean of Europe could look like and share your thoughts in the comments. Naturally, do not forget to give us a weighty like especially if you want to know the continuation of this insanely interesting story. So let's play an interactive game. You put 25,000 likes and I will immediately release the continuation of this fascinating topic. Agreed. See you soon.